So that was a little different, the montage. So that's my commute into the city uh, that I used to take every day before the pandemic. Um, Cause I'm going to the office today and there's something in the office that I want to show you guys, but I'm also gonna try something different for the channel. I don't know, moving forward or um, maybe it's just for this project, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a vlog um, video just because a lot of my videos and builds are pretty simple, but there's a lot that happens and sometimes it happens over a long period of time. And sometimes, you know, I, I see videos that I like to see what the maker is going through. And I thought I'd share with you and the video, uh, the, the project I'm working on is going to be a side table. And for me to finish the side table or at least start on it, oh, I need to do it in the office. So here is my office, guys. This is uh, my New York City office. Uh, my day job is I am a photo retoucher and I have a small studio. Um, this is it, this is the space. Here, check out this view. This is one of my favorite spots in New York City. It's become it. Got this little nice little park that I overview in Tribeca. Um, it's really cool watching the seasons change and people watching is a lot of fun. And here is a server room um, and printers for, for my office. So with the, the idea with these logs is to show you guys a little bit more about myself. But the thing I really wanted to show you guys is back here. Look at that beauty. This is the Raise 3D. Uh, I forgot what uh, the, it's, I think it's the Plus model. Pro 2 Plus, I think that's what it is. So I got this a little bit a year before the pandemic hit and it, I haven't been able to print it for the last year because of the pandemic because I haven't been in the office. But the print volume here is 12 inches by 12 inches and 24 inches tall so for furniture design and everything um it's gonna be wonderful because i could print like chair legs uh in this case i'm gonna print the bottom to the side table idea that i had um it's just that you know for the last year i haven't been able to get to this machine because it's it, this whole thing is steel and it's really heavy it's like 120 something pounds and i can't really move it to my house without getting like a truck with a lift and um, then when I get to my house I have no idea where to put it and it's my basement so I have to figure out how to get it down some concrete stairs so it's just gonna live here at the office for a while um, but yeah I wanted to share with you guys because I, I plan on making a lot of stuff here with this and the thing is I just I'm, I'm gonna try to get to the office a little bit more now um, now that you know I mean the pandemic's not over but um, I'm gonna try to come back to the office like once a week or once every other week. So I'll put on a, like a print and usually big prints take a couple of days on this machine. So I'm going to start printing it and just let it print for the week and then come and pick it up the following week or over the weekend or something. But um, I definitely try to utilize it more in projects coming up. But that's the big reveal is that um, I'm here for the day to do some maintenance stuff and um, to meet with people from the, um, the office and to get a print going. And um, I might not be able to pick it up until, you know, next week, but at least it'll hopefully print and not fail. If it fails, then I have to redo everything over again. But yeah, this is the office and maybe part one of the series. Um, I think I have a clip after this of what, I'm gonna show you what I am building. Um, and yeah, let me know what the form, if you guys like this format. Hey guys, so uh, we're in my basement. Um, it's about 9 p.m. This is usually when I get to design and work and do stuff. Um, my kid is in bed, uh, my wife is uh, going to bed, and this is my time to kind of play. And I think most of you guys who have kids kind of go through the same thing. Um, so what I try to do is spend a lot of my time designing on my computer. Um, 
and not make noise and um, kind of get the design ready and built and planned out so that when my weekend comes um, or I could sneak away during the weekday in the garage to build some stuff. Um, and that's why I kind of want to share this with you so you guys can kind of see um, how sometimes, um, you know, my like a 10 minute video could be like weeks and months of me building something. But this design is actually kind of simple, um, although I have um, I had this design planned out a while ago. Um, I sketched this out and shared it on Instagram. Um, you can see it right here. Um, so it was kind of a design that I had for a while ago, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build it out. How I've been thinking over how to do it uh, in Fusion. So here, we'll just hop into Fusion. And what we're gonna do is create a sketch on the vertical plane. And what I'm going to do is First, I'm going to make a rectangle as a guide. So this is going to be 24 inches tall. And then um, this going to be 6 inches wide. Now, um, the way I'm going to build this out is that um, it is going to be... I'm going to build like a, a silhouette, a profile of it, and then I'm going to rotate it around. Um, and then it's going to create the dimension. It'll make sense in a second. So, so this is going to be my guide. So I just want to turn all these to just reference guides. I'm just clicking the lines and pressing X. So they turn to dotted lines. And I'm going to use the line tool and just roughly draw out my shape. So then, so this is kind of the rough shape, and what I'm going to do is dimension it. So this is going to be, um, eventually it's going to be a three inch circle, so it's one and a half inches. Again, this is going to make more sense in a second. So this is going to be um, 19 millimeters, ooh, that was pretty close. And then, let's see, this one to here is going to be 100. Okay, and then this is fine. Okay, so we're gonna finish sketch. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to use the rotation tool. Where is it? Revolve? I think it's revolve. So that's and the axis I'm gonna do is this one here. There you go. So it's a new body. So this is the base of of my um, side table. So what I'm going to do, so the, the bottom, this, this whole piece is going to be 3D printed. So what I'm going to do from the top, is so I can show you the table part, so I'm going to create a new sketch on here. And then we're going to use a circle. So um, let's say we're going to do a, um, I don't know, 15, now let's do 18 inch table. Finish that sketch. And then that table is going to go down. Uh, what was it? I said 19. It's going to be a new body. Okay, so that's the tabletop. You probably make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's go back to the sketch. And then I'm gonna do is Hit it, I did 20 millimeters. 
Swedish by accent. Okay. So that is the way the table's gonna look. I actually want to, I think I want to push this higher, maybe. So I'm gonna go back, edit the sketch. And what I'm gonna do is move this point like this. Finish sketch. So that's a little taller. And then what I can do is to help you guys see this a little better, I can adjust the appearance. Okay, and then I want, I think I was gonna make the bottom black or this dark gray. So let's just, So this is what it's going to look like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow this out because if I 3D print this right now, it's going to take forever to print. So I'm going to use the shell command and I'm going to do uh, five millimeters. There you go. So now you can see that it's hollow all the way through and that's going to be the table. So here, if we do a cross section, you can see what it's gonna look like. See? So it's gonna be hollow all the way through, and then this wood piece is gonna rest right on top. So that's the idea. Uh, pretty simple, uh, but think about this for a little bit. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I might tweak the design, I might not. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think what might make it look a little better, let me take off the analysis, is I had wanted to put like a chamfer on this end, but I wanted to put like a really steep one. Uh, let me see, can I put a really steep one on this one? Two distances. Yeah. So that one there, and then I wanted to make this one. Like that. Yeah, that looks nicer. I just have to figure out how to cut that. But that makes it look a little cooler. Yeah, I mean, you know, the design's not for everyone, but it's more of the concept. And I think we can play around with it and see how it goes. It's just a little heavy. Looks a little heavy. This is the part of the design where I just sit here and just stare at it for a while and play around with it. So let's go to edit. And then what we can do is we can add another point. Maybe we want to go like this. And then delete that. Actually, we could leave it for now. Let's see, finish sketch. Edit feature, we don't want to take that. I mean, it looks more like a traditional kind of round table pole not very interesting, but maybe a little cleaner, right? I don't know. What do you guys think?
Should we go thinner? Or should we go rounder? Maybe we can make this go round. Ooh. I wonder how that will print. Okay, okay. That's getting a little more interesting. It's a little fat, though. So let me move that in. That in. What do you think? Seems very similar to a design on on design within reach probably. But what's cool is the table just sits right on top like this. So I'm gonna print this and I'm gonna end up with that. Yeah, all right. Looks like that's a decent design to start off. Now the question is, is it gonna be thick enough at five millimeters around? I think so. All right, we'll take it from there and see. So yeah, this was a little bit of a long video, but you guys could see my thinking process here. And if you made it this far, awesome. Um, but um, I will show you guys, um, if not already, um, the printer that this is gonna be printing on. Yeah, so I think this is it. I think it's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is save this out and try to print this out on, on my printer. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, but this will be, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Yeah. All right.